Welcome to Whiskey Dance. Today we're driving this home. 380,162 feet. Here he comes. What a beaut. Uh, we have a special guest, Mr. Jeff. So, the plan is we're going to check the fluids. We're going to throw a battery back in it. We're going to throw a jack underneath it and see if we can't get that, uh, that pusher axle lifted up. And then I don't know if we're going to have to drive through the woods a little bit or through this brush or what, but uh, we got to figure out how we're getting out of here. So, I'm going to put you on the tripod and we'll uh, see what we can do. Stay All tuned. Right, so we got some gas in it. Looked everything over. It has zero brakes. We're hoping that uh, we can lift this box up. And then once it's up, you tip that thing down right there. And then that will hold the axle up. Then we'll be able to uh, hopefully drive out of here. It's going to be interesting. I'm really hoping that the parking brake works, but uh, we're not going to be uh, driving too terribly fast. So let's get started and see if we can't lift this box up. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we could... Uh... We lift the box. Anybody know? All right, well, I'm gonna start pushing buttons, see if I can't figure it out. So we got it to move, but 
we have one brake that wants to lock up. I'll throw a jack underneath it. Lift her up, see if we can't uh, beat on with the hammer and get her loose. Uh, it's completely out of coolant as well, so we got some of that. And there's no brake fluid in it, so we got some of that too. So let's see if we can't uh, get her on the road. Little bald eagle flying around. First drive, no brakes. Only got 378,112 feet left to go. We'll do a little progress report here shortly. Stop. <laughs> Made it. Yeah. All right. It's cruising down the road. I think it does about uh, 42 miles an hour. We just put some fuel in it. We're still about 55 miles from home, uh, which is about an hour doing the speed limit. So I'm guessing it's going to take a couple hours. But uh, so far, so good. We'll check back in shortly. So I have to be completely honest. This makes me so happy. It's not even funny. I don't care if it sticks like exhaust. There's mouse crap falling in my eyes and whatever else. I don't care. Right now, I'm the luckiest man alive. Really get to experience the back roads of Minnesota. This ain't bad at all unless you come up to a stop sign couple of close calls but uh, so far so good I think we are about 11 miles from uh, from the house so check back in a little bit we're gonna have to check to see if radio worked oh we got a fight chance yeah, yeah we Great winter this year. Yeah, another <laughs> chance of being back and love Fargo and ready to take you guys to Africa. Oh, so it don't get much better than this. An African safari. Uh, uh, kill your hunt. My friend, you can pretty much hunt anything. Okay. If anything is legal in South Africa, we do awesome um, hunting safaris. The, the basic trip starts at seven days. I wonder if you can hunt humans. Make it to the first gas station. Fifty miles. Uh -huh. How many leaves are in there? Damn. Let's keep coming. Seventy miles, made it. Women say, "Better please." Look at how happy that guy is. Tearing this box off, turn her into a pickup. Real farm truck. 
What's that dog doing? All right, so we're just gonna pull her around front, get her a little closer to the water spigot, give her a bath. Let's see how quick she starts. Fired right up. So I thought this was a four speed transmission. It's actually a Clark five speed. Which just means that the fifth speed is direct drive and number one is really low for like pulling off a farmer's field or you know just real low all right one more look at it dirty we'll run a hose over here grab the pressure washer Give her a good bath. Let's see what we're working with here. I know uh, it's been sitting a while, so hopefully it comes right off. I guess we'll see. Well, first bath in probably, well, at least 11 years. And I don't think they wash these old farm trucks very often. So more than likely, it hasn't been washed since the 1900s. I discovered a few more dents, but uh, I ain't too worried about it. I might not do anybody work with it. I think I might fix that... Uh, rust hole up on the roof up there but otherwise i might just put that box on there and paint it the same color and see if i can't match this or get close it's just a wimbledon white shouldn't be too hard to uh to match the other thing i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna extend this bumper down probably 10 inches to a foot I'm taking that step off I'm going to put a gigantic exhaust, either six or eight inch, like lake pipes that come out here and then they'll come out just in front of the tire, wherever our dually box ends up being. Probably tint the windows. We're gonna fabricate our own uh, rear bumper. Something cool. There it is, all nice and clean. Can't wait to see it as a pickup. I think tomorrow I'm gonna to start pulling the sides off. I'll pull that box off. Get all that stuff recycled. Unless somebody wants it. I know there's a guy that wants it, but he's uh, almost three hours away and I don't know if it's worth the headache. Um, I thought it had a stainless steel bed floor but it turns out it's wood. And there was, I don't know, 15 years worth of leaves in there. So they literally blew out the whole 380,162 feet. So we left leaves everywhere. Uh, I also need to vacuum all this out. I'm going to pop this headliner out. I think I might have one. If not, I might just make one out of sheet metal really thin sheet metal and then uh you know use these as a pattern or whatever get them all cut out nice and then uh just screw them in there like a factory piece well we'll see but yeah that's uh there she is in a nutshell well that's gonna do it for this week's episode i hope you enjoyed it this is gonna be a pickup before you know it so stay tuned I do need to get a brush out here and uh, scrub on it a little bit more to really make it look nice. But uh, tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to uh, like and comment and all that happy stuff. And if you want to subscribe, well, 
I don't need to tell you. You know right away, right? Anyways, thanks for joining me. Go check out all my friends. I'll leave them all in the description. Anyways, see you next week. Y'all come back now, you hear? Bye. Oh, you guys are still here. Perfect. So, this transmission is a Clark 5-speed. Um, the fifth gear is direct drive. And the first gear in it is extremely low. Well, it pops out or won't even go into fourth gear. So, plan is... Um, I found another one. Well, I found an NP435. It's just a four speed, so it won't have that super granny low or whatever, but uh, I ain't too worried about it. It'll be enough to get uh, get me around town. This is just a going, to, going to town rig. I only live a couple miles from town, so. I think uh, the top speed, I had it going like 57 yesterday, but uh, well, she was really screaming. <laughs> Wasn't too happy, but uh, anyways. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we got a pickup box sitting on this thing real soon. So have a good day. Bye. Cut off real nice. I'm gonna grab that hood since it's in really good shape and it's got an Edelbrock sticker on it, so why not? The rest of this stuff is coming back hopefully in the next week or two. I'll we'll get it to the house. This is what our pieces look like, and since we're this close, we might as well look at this monster truck, huh? Gigantic bump side. It's got a 521, I believe, in it. 56 inch wheels, I believe. Oh, you can't hardly see anything, but uh, pretty sweet rig. Hopefully, it gets her up and running. And then that's a C10. I don't know anything about that one. And there's a nice little C10 sitting right here, too. Restoration project, so. This is what you need when you're pulling uh, pulling engines out of monster trucks. The world's largest swing set. So. Anyways, I think that about does, does it for being out here. And, uh, I'm sure I'll be back to grab some more parts. I, still, I mean, obviously I gotta pick the cab up. And front clip. Probably drag that exhaust home and uh, maybe that drive shaft. Uh, We'll see. But, uh, all right, see you back at the garage.